Good morning, guys. Hey, listen, you know, uh, by the way, my name's Rick Worth. You know, I'm forgetting to say that. It's like, you know, I just talk on here. Everybody knows me. But anyways, it's like I got, I got a haircut a couple days ago. Look, they almost cut everything off. Damn, that's what happens when you go to someone that doesn't speak English. <laughs> but anyways, it all grows back. What the fuck? thought I would teach you guys something, another side of that code and show you how it all works actually together. Not often have I spoke about it. it seems as soon as I turn this on, a fucking airplane comes over. Alright, so anyways, I want to talk about the five stages of consciousness. I really only call it four and then there's a result, but uh, you know, I can't I can't change things, so it's really about the five stages of consciousness, and it has to do with Greek cosmology. Uh, so this is going to be a quick lesson today. But you understand that uh, the Moses teaches us of uh, the law, and the law has, a, has everything to do with our Kundalini system. Um, it's a way of, of connecting uh, mother and father together, and of course that's one of the first things that uh, God tells Moses to write down or to, or it's like whatever, you know, from our commandments to honor mother and father. Alright, so this way is the way of, of bringing mother and father together. And the same way with Jesus and his teachings of the way uh, that um, he says that the way is to take his joke that it that, that is really easy that this is easy the idea is how to connect them together now in the book all through the book we're all talking about water all the time and that idea that everyone is searching for the truth they're looking for the well and this idea of tossing your nets over to the right side of the boat in order to get these fish and, and to gain this higher conscious this is really all it's about. It's about taking that nine of yours from the from the Son of Man and making you into the Son of God. That's all it's really trying to do. And that again gives you your choice of which way to go. But basically the way it works is the five layers of consciousness. And you know, I keep showing this thing here, but I can just tell you how it is. The outside world that we live in is beta conscious. It's so dubbed down that we actually take on a certain feel and, and substance down here. Well, it also has its own conscious, all right? So it's connected to the third chakra, the seat of the devil, all right? The seat of Satan and the left side of our brain, okay? Also known as the carnal mind and uh, together they represent the beast. This is the the hard, the gross, the solid, the matter side of energy. And of course this side is not welcome up in heaven. You know, it has to die, it has to be killed off, this has to be loosened in some way. And so the story will go that we have, we run from earth, we run from Egypt, we run from hell. We are trying to get out of it, we escape from hell. But we always seem to wind back up in, you know, and in the stories they're up and down, up and down, up and down. So you don't seriously die in it. It's just a place that you go to be restored, to get a little, you know, we take our, our cars, you know, well, I don't drive, but we take our vehicles and our, our telephones and all our gadgets and stuff to something to fill them up and get energy. And of course it would say, don't feed from the low. So anyways, that's beta conscious. Beta frequency is the sin that we are all born into. How wonderful that is, right? But anyways, we wouldn't exist otherwise. Um, so anyway, sus sustenance and substance matter it's down here on the, beta, on the lower levels. It's also where we feel. It's where our five senses come together. This is our feelings and our emotions and our desires and our wants. This is the pit. It's never ending. It's always mmm. So we have to somehow bridle this. And uh, otherwise, everyone running around with this kind of mind can be hell on earth. Alright? 
So our makers give us this choice, and of course through our learning we know that they said, well, you know, we gave a choice, but every time you guys keep fucking it up, you know. But, uh, you know, it's that choice. They said we gave them the choice. You know, it just so happens that, you know, I think we've been tricked out of that choice because I had to find it, seek it, but that's what the Bible tells us to do. It's only there for those people to seek it. Otherwise, it's the deceiver, and it's the deceiver... It's the, those the people that are deceiving, that are deceived, you know, but anyways. So what we do is we have to get rid of the skin. And so we go into the water, and that's what the water's about, you know. In the stories, they wash their feet. And they take off their garments, right? This is baptism for their sins, all right? You got to be baptized and stuff. Well, that's the outside world, but... The outside of us is not allowed there. So in this meditation form, we go into what is called Alpha. Alpha is the next state. As soon as you can shut the mind off, you know, you're going into meditation. You can shut the mind off. You're taking off the garment. You're stripping yourself of the skin. You're washing yourself so that you can make it over to the other side. You're not allowed to be, you can't, uh, you can't walk on this ground. So you're not supposed to have any of, you know, the outside of you on this. So that's what second stage of this is going through the water. All right. Next, after that, absolute nothing happens. This is the quiet time. It's darkness. This is the sixth rung of the ladder. All right. This is that idea that you have created those works, you were able to shut down the mind, you were able to, to quiet the mind, because that's where it is right now, it's quiet. This is theta frequency, when, when the mind is naturally raising, it's a natural raising on its own, which is this idea of you being the branch, you know, being the vine, and, and we're growing now, we're moving and we're growing up, and we're about, and we're going to fruit and stuff like that. But anyways, this this uh, is theta conscious. It's called the air. So you're in the air and there's nothing going on in here. It's quiet. Remember? The day, you know, this is that day before the Lord. The day of the Lord, which is the seventh chakra, which is coming up next. Right? That winds up being delta. Alright? Jesus raises us to delta. You can't get to his father without him. Alright? The thing is, is that, you know, they don't tell you that it's really taking you over to the right hemisphere, and that's your mother. That's the, uh, in our book, she's known as Jerusalem, the, Jer the Jerusalem, she is known as Jerusalem of, 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 that is above, that is free, totally separated from the Jerusalem, which is below, that is in bondage. So this is a place where we visit to get away from all this other crap. And of course, this uh, Delta Conscious winds up being the, the fire side of this. Of course, this is where you meet the guy at the top of the mountain, you know. Moses re re leads his group up the back side of the mountain. You know, you can always find God up on the top of a mountain, all right. And in our minds, we know that that is the east side. So we have taken all our worlds, those four worlds, which is really the idea it's all of you and we've made harmony between them all and we have made it from the west to the east and that was that's 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 all you have to do that's the travel that's where you go <clears throat> and of course fire and brimstones comes from this this is the crown chakra is, is lit up now and all hell is breaking loose and restoration comes in the new wine is your new spirit. The new wine skin is your new mind. This becomes this wonderful new you. You get a new name. You know, of course, we don't do that down here, but it's symbolized in that it's the new you. It's all about that. And that, you know, you're going to go back down, get screwed up again. So they insist that you come back. They insist that you constantly berate yourself, you know, and, you know, that's that idea of self-punishment. 
but it's really not a punishment. This is it's absolutely beautiful. Judgments are good. All these things, the glorious day of the Lord, you know. It's only the people on the outside of the truth that are afraid of this Bible, okay. Uh, I told you it was going to be a quick one, but that, uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about when it comes to these. The fifth, this fifth stage is the new you, the new mind. Uh, you're drunk, you're hanging out with the Lord, you're, you're naked, you've drank from this new wine, there's nothing between you and this God now, and them to put together, this is the marriage, you know, this is the true marriage, what God has made, has put together that no man put it under, you know, or take us apart. So, um, uh, enjoy the journey you know this is how what I was trying to get at was that this is the stages of consciousness as it is raised up and it matches the the same idea with our Kundalini it's all the same story and it's interwoven in with these stories as well it's always that well all right remember we learned that the unclean spirit when it is out roaming and it's looking for water, maybe, but it only has, it finds nothing, you know. It looks for rest, it can't find it, you know. So, um, it's just a shame that those people got to re read their Bibles uh, in such a way that, uh, that it takes them away from the Lord. And uh, in our Bibles it says that uh, being ministers of the New Testament, uh, not by the w letter, but by the spirit, because the letter kills, and the spirit gives gives life, and that's what we teach here. The part, the spiritual side of things, the part that gives you life. All right, best to you. I love you. Take care. Mm -hmm.